guys well I've been doing a little driving uh, found me a couple spots that might uh, might be good leads for places to check out but this spot it's a place I've wanted to come and check out for a while uh, last year I found some good really good rubs not far from here but uh, I don't know I just I feel like this is where the deer are hanging out the deer that made those rubs are probably living in here and there's probably more deer over here and what's interesting is this year it's all freshly burned so uh, there's a clear cut back in here I'm basically just gonna follow this ridge back to that clear cut I might walk up to the edge and look around for like rubs and scrapes in this or I'll just uh, kind of check it out see how it looks I don't really know but I brought the muzzle over just in case uh, it's probably about time to start getting quiet
So a quick recap of what just happened. I cut off the intro pretty quick because I thought I heard something running down there. Then I convinced myself I was just tricking myself and it was the wind because these leaves, when the wind blows, these leaves start to sound like something running and then you're like, oh, it's, it's just leaves. But I kept hearing it and at one point I swear I heard a deer making a scrape and then I, I rubbing or something, something along those lines. And then I was like, no, I convinced myself that it was a squirrel. And then I hear something bounding through some leaves. And I'm like, that ain't no squirrel unless it weighs about 100 pounds. So I unclip from my tether. I'm sitting down on the ground in my saddle. And uh, just treating it like a chair, basically. But either way, I unclip from my tether and just stood up real slow. I see stuff down in the bottom down there just bouncing around chasing each other and then at one point I, I couldn't tell what the first deer was but it didn't have a rack on it it comes running up to about 40 yards and I'm sitting there with the crosshairs on the second deer waiting on it to be a stud and I just see one like cowhorn one uh, spike so I don't think, I hope that that's not the deer that's making all these rubs. It certainly doesn't seem like it because some of them are big and like thrashed. But I th I think that Gowhorn pushed that spike out that walked past me. And I hope that there's another deer that's going to step out and show that Gowhorn who's boss. Um. tempted to get just a move like 20 yards over that away where I can see down in that bottom a little bit better. I really wish I had my grunt call. I feel like that could have made a difference or or they wouldn't have uh, heard it or wouldn't have cared but that there definitely was a buck that grunted down there that's 100% fact I heard it three times. I'm pretty jacked up right now. I'm gonna get with the rest of the evening. I think I may move over. Um, I'm gonna leave my, well. I'm gonna take my camera just in case. I'm screwed, I'll take everything. I'm gonna get just right over here and see how well I can see down there. Might move for the last hour. What's up guys, so it is um, almost four o'clock. I'm in a very uncomfortable position, but we're gonna try to make it work. I'm backed up against a hill. Um, I'm looking, there's a bunch of deer trails and deer sign like crazy through here. And it's late in the afternoon. I've been scout, we've been scouting most of the day. So I'm taking a quick break for lunch. So, um, me and Buddy were riding together. Zach went to a spot that he said, um, he seen some sign in. And, um, so decided to come in here into this spot. Never been here before. There's trails and tracks and stuff everywhere. I ain't seen any scrapes or rubs, really. But it got to be right at 4 o'clock. So I decided to just go ahead and just sit down and see what I can see. I'm looking, I'm on the downside of a big hill. I, I mean, it's a mountain compared to where I'm from. Um, looking down, there's another mountain down into a bottom. And I can see a good little ways. I don't know what shot opportunities I actually have. But it's a scout. This is a scout trip pretty much right now. So. I'm just going to um, hopefully Buddy and Zach see some stuff. But we're in. I'm sitting down in a chair. I'm on the ground. Most of what I do this weekend is going to be on the ground. Um, unless I just find something that's awesome because there's a lot moving. A lot of moving. A lot of hunting. I got a lot of butt doll. I don't know what these are in front of me. They kind of, that it kind of. 
try to shield me a little bit. Um, but we're going to try to be still. So, y'all stay tuned. Maybe, maybe we'll see some deer. That's, that's the goal right now, really, just see deer. If a good bug comes by, awesome. It's going to be, a, if, if that did happen, be very fun to try to get it out of here. Um, I don't know, you can't tell by the camera, but that angle you see behind me is steep. So, shut up and see what we can figure out. That's cool. 